Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and today I have an amazing Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new and only $1.25. Now I am someone that loves to take you to multiple Dollar Trees throughout the entire week so that I'm able to show you what is new and what to look out for. I'll link some of those videos down below so it's easier for you to find. So with all that, let me dive in and share with you all these amazing items I found. So they came out with some new uh solar stake lights in the color black. So these are the two designs that they have. There's the top right there. Uh, you just go ahead and pull that from the bottom, stick it like that, and you can put it down in the ground. Now, if it's something that you really don't want to keep outside all day, all night, well, that's all right. Go ahead and just stick this outside. Make sure you pull the little orange tab that is in there. Pull that out. And you can do a lot of different things with this. Uh, put it outside. This does come off. Stick it inside your house. Put it in a little cubby. Um, hang it from your wall. You could go even like this and just have the light ricochet onto the wall. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, you could stick it in a vase or whatever. Same with this one. Very easy to take apart. Just like that. Put it on. Use this for the lid. Again, take your little tab off and do a lot of different things with these. So just don't think that you have to keep it the way you buy it. Now, I do believe this one is the one that flickers unless the battery is almost dead or whatever that's in there. This one stays on. So I don't know. But I think those are really cool. I've only found those at one of my Dollar Trees so far, but I'm sure the others will get caught up. Uh, here they have this pickable pickleball racket set. You only get one per pack, so make sure you pick up multiples. They come in four different colors. So here's the blue. It does come with the ball, but you guys, this is not cheap plastic. This is very, very sturdy, and even the ball's really nice. So here it is outside of the package, and as you can see, I got the blue and orange, and then the ball, because you know, sometimes when you get cheap balls that you could barely press them and they just sink and crack. This is very, very sturdy. In fact, let me try it. Hmm. Not bad. Very nice. I'm sure you could probably do a cute DIY with that because it has little holes. I don't know. I just see someone planting a seed and grow flowers out of that. I don't know. Um, they also have, I think they had four different uh, ones to choose from. These are the wristlet straps that retail for eight dollars. There's the back. So these are the four that I picked out. Uh, I'm sure you could probably use these for other things, but I really like the gold buckle. It is made very, very nice, very thick and sturdy. Once again, you just stick it on your arm like that and you can put your keys on there or your ID or whatever you want to stick on there. So I thought those were pretty cool. I'm kind of sad that I never found the uh, matching towels that a lot of you said you were able to find at your Dollar Tree. Um, but I was happy even just to find these. Um, these are the dish drying mats. They're microfiber by Home with a Heart. So I picked up this green one and kind of like a burgundy orange kind of color, if that's even a color, and the yellow one. I think they had six or eight different colors, but these are the ones that I picked up. They're really, really nice, nice and thick. 15 by 20 make great gifts, especially with Mother's Day coming up. Be something really cute to do up for the mom or, heck, keep them up for Christmas as that's what I started doing with my kids. I, just, I buy early. Um, if you are a crafter or know someone that does love crafts, you are going to love a lot of this stuff. So the Dollar Tree now came out with their polymer clay. They have five colors per pack. So these are more of your browns and blacks and grays. They also have your primary colors right there. And we have the blues and the pastels and everything. Again, you get five of them. I mean, they're not huge, um, but I know you can buy like a really small block at, say, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or something like that for maybe a dollar seventy nine or somewhere around that um, price range. But here you get all these different colors. They also came out with this clay craft tools, a five piece set. Very interesting shapes, if you ask me. 
They also had some from years ago. They're more of like a wood handle with a metal tip. What I like about these is that you don't have to worry about them hurting any onions or anything that you're going to be using um, or stabbing yourself. And I'm sure I would figure out some way to hurt myself with these. Go figure. And then the other item they had to go with the clay. I mean, this would make up a really cute Easter basket or something. I think that'd be really cute, or even for Mother's Day, once again. They also have three different sets of these clay assorted cutters. So they have this set, and they also have this one and this one. So a great variety. I'm sure you could probably even use these for cookie cutters if you wanted to. Okay, moving on. They also had three different sets of these. Now, I think you could probably get them a little bit cheaper on Amazon, not 100% sure, but you get four per pack. These are the Crafter Square Hotel Keychains assorted uh, different colors. So they have more of your pastels in there. This one's an all black. And then you have these brighter colors right here. Now, a lot of people are like, what would you use these for? And that's exactly what my husband said when I found these. Well, if you have a Cricut and you know how to use it, and a lot of you that's been following me, I still have my Cricut. It's still in the box and it's been in the box for, I don't know, maybe five years. I'm still waiting for my husband to help me. Um, but you can put different sayings on here. You can even mod podge pictures on there. You can write messages on these if you want. You can label things if you want to. So there's a lot of different things. You don't have to be put a key on there if you don't want to. So don't think you, that's what you need to use it for. And they also had a few different of their gem canvas painting kits. I thought the tiger was really cool. You get everything that you need. When I found these, I found three different ones. It was the Fruit Loop Bird and the uh, Hot Air Balloon and then the Tiger. So I thought those were really neat. And the, I think the last craft, I don't know, there's two more. Um, they had a few different ones of these felt flower kits. It's a 15 piece set. I thought this color was pretty cool. You could use this um, for scrapbooking. You can put it on a picture frame. You could, um, I'm trying to think what else you can use that on. I don't know. You can just do a lot of different things with them if you have patience. And it looks like you just need some glue. Every, everything else is provided for you. And the last craft thing I purchased was this sewing dowel kit. I thought this little panda bear was kind of interesting. Um, they had quite a few different ones. Again, I will link the video down below that I show all the different ones. Um, but yeah, you get everything that you need, the instructions, which I'm sure I'll mess up. Um, yes, I'm Miss Positive Patty here. Um, but yeah, I thought that would be something cute to try. If not, I'll let my daughter. So they have these up at the register, and I wouldn't even have seen them if I didn't hear one of the employees point them out to another customer. And I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. Uh, but they had a lot of different colors. These are gummy bear. They're really soft, like silicone, kind of. And they're pens. See? And it has a lot of paper on it. So let me go ahead and try to unleash this bear out of the packaging. And there we go. I'll just throw it on the floor, pick it up later. So, oh, they're scented. Did that say on there that it was scented? It doesn't say it's scented, but it's scented. It smells like blueberries. Oh, I like that. Oh, oh, it's not a pen. It's a pencil. I'm like, what's this little clicky thing? And look, you see the lead come out? See that? It's a pen. Oh, okay. What brand are you? I don't know. 7mm. So, oh, Greenbrier. Oh. And it's scented. They had a lot of different colors. They had like orange, pink, purple, blue, yellow, and blueberry. Oh, I like that. Can I write? Let me write. Can I write? Yeah, works. Sorry for the glare. It's going to be all messy. The lighting is horrible in this room. Uh, moving along. So... They have these. I think this is one of the biggest size mirrors I've ever found at the Dollar Tree for only $1.25. And it's an 8x10. So it's like a picture frame. So you might get a nasty glare. 
but see that you can see all my stuff over there how cool is that and there's the back I think those are really really cool I don't know I don't know I mean I'm sure you can do something really cool on the wall so found those those are actually over by the frame so be sure you check that out over there also they had some really cool books uh, I picked up three of these for my oldest daughters because they travel a lot. And this is the at-home Q&A a day in the world for travelers. 365 questions, three years, 1,095 answers. Retails for $16.95 in the U.S. and $22.95 in Canada. So you just write a bunch of stuff. You answer questions and everything in there. So let's see, uh, what is one thing that you have never done but want to? And you put the date and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. And then the other book I picked up was this one. It says, Present Not Perfect for You and Me, a journal for getting closer, connecting with each other, and loving your relationship. Hmm. Cute. So went ahead and picked one of those up. I love finding different journals at the Dollar Tree. I've given out so many for gifts and prizes when we play games. Uh, find time to be creative together now and then. And you guys sit there and fight over the markers and color. That would never happen in this house. Um, okay, socks. Oh, socks. These are, these are amazing. So cute, although I've never watched this movie, but it's a uh, Space Jam. Two pair of really big, thick socks by Warner Brothers. They are 97% polyester, 3% spandex. And again, you get two huge pair and they are size six to 12. And then the other Space Jam, another two pack, same size. You have Bugs Bunny on that one, and then you have uh, Marvin the Martian, Tweety Bird. I think Sylvester's on there. I think that's who that is, or maybe not. Oh, that's Taz, Tasmanian Devil. So look how cute those are. Another great basket filler. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of that, let me just show you these. I know Easter's right around the corner, but... I think these are really, really cool. Now, when I found these huge gold eggs, all I could think right away was Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I want a golden egg now, Daddy. Or is it the golden goose or whatever? So, yeah, I think those are really big. So, these are really cute if you do egg hunts um, for your kids, grandkids at the church or whatever. Now, again, these are really big, but they have different sizes. Um, usually in this household, um, when they were younger, I would get a couple of gold eggs and those were the special eggs that had a special prize, which usually had some money in it. Um, so that might be an idea for you, but you could put quite a bit of stuff in there because it's really big or you can rip it apart and make it into a mountain of some sort. I don't know. So thought those were cool. And then the other set I picked up, I could not resist. They are different fruit. How adorable. You got the strawberry, orange, lemon, lime, watermelon. I don't know if that's a, is that a plum or is that an eggplant? I don't know, but I think those are really cute. Okay, moving on. So this I thought was very interesting. This is space tape. It's waterproof indoor, outdoor, cuts to any size for a perfect fit. You get one roll and it's three feet long and it gives you all these different ideas on how to use it. Now I did cut off a piece, you know, oh, I hung it over there. Well, that's perfect, it's way over there. Um, but this is what it looks like. You roll it out to what size you want or if you wanted different sizes or whatever, you cut it, you stick it on, whatever you want, and then you pull the little tab, and that's all you do. So I used mine to hang up my little marsh or marshmallow <laughs> mushroom forest that I made, and it held it. And it was a few pounds because it was really heavy because I had a lot of stuff in there, and it worked. 
So, and it didn't ruin my wall. I mean, at first I thought it was going to because it was really sticky, but as you can see, it did not because this is where I had it. There's no ickies. So, very strong. So, yay on that. Um, okay, how about a one pound, two ounce box of General Mills cereal, family size. This is the Vanilla Spice Cheerios. Uh, yeah, can't go wrong with that. Now, if you wanted to buy the Dollar Tree brand cereal in the box, you know, the tiny box, that price did go up. I think it's $1.50 or $1.75 for that. Um, but you can get this because I wanted to make sure it came up right. $1.25. Yes, $1.25. So I'll try that out. And this, I do not drink energy drinks. I have never drank one and I never plan to. Um, but I had to get this one just because of the can. Look how cute that is. It is the Zero Sugar Energy Drink Pac-Man Power Pellet Cherry Lollipop. It's a 16 ounce can, but again, I could not pass that up. I'll just hang on to it and set it on a shelf. I did have the Pac-Man sit down machine and I just sold that, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Uh, my kids just never really played it. I bought it during the pandemic and they didn't really play with it and it just took up too much room. So I sold it. Sad to see it go, but I'd rather give it to a family that could love it and use it. Um, so here is a huge thing of, is it stiletto nails and nail glue? 200, 200 uh, nails and the glue. Yeah very nice case and it gives you instructions and all this fun stuff oh and it gives you a nail file and a little applicator thing it has a little suction thingy maneuver on there this probably has tape no worries i came prepared but you know the problem is is that i don't know if it's going to cut it just a wiggling oh while i'm trying to open this i don't have my brace on but who has heard of trigger finger trigger finger didn't even know it was a thing for the past week this finger I don't know if it'll do it here on camera but it's this one it's not gonna do it especially in the morning it gets stuck and then I have to like like pull it out of the socket or whatever and it just like bends and it like I don't know it's just weird I'm like what is going on and it hurts and it feels swollen so I looked it up and I told my husband I'm like I have trigger trigger finger didn't even know that was a thing so I ordered a brace and I had it on earlier today but then I took it off just because it was just so annoying and I wanted to be able to do my haul without any kind of device on me and I cannot for the life of me get these nails open I mean I am cutting so hard with this razor blade you don't want to cut. Oh, I guess it, <laughs> it has a little latch. And I <laughs> broke a nail trying to open this thing, and all I had a little latch. So there's a little latch. But look at that. Um, it, it does not come with the tape or any of that kind of funky stuff. So it comes with the glue, your little applicator, and oh, I don't have my little pig. I'll have to show you what I made out of these, but those things are ginormous. Look at that. It's like a bear claw. Um, but yeah, that's all what it comes with. And a little thingy maneuver, which I'm assuming you just... Oh, okay. So, interesting. Maybe you can make a game out of that. I don't know. Um, a few other goodies that I found that I'm going to give to my daughter for Easter. This is the Real, Real Techniques Sponge Tone and Stimulator. Interesting. Very weird things. I'm going to open it. I know she won't care. I'll just stick it back in the box. But I love to open things during my hauls to give you a closer look and give you my honest opinion on what I think of it. And I just think this is a very weird thing, but I'm sure she will like it. It is name brand, and I cannot believe I broke a nail, and it chipped my polish. I finally painted my nails for the first time in months. So, yeah, 
All right, so let's do the other one. This is the Bio Blender Eco Tools 100% Biodegradable Cleansing Sponge. This thing's ginormous for the body. I'm probably gonna have to dissect this box. That's interesting. Oh, isn't that cute? You can hang it. Ooh. Doesn't have much of a smell, but it is kind of stretchy. Very nice. I'm sure you can use this for crafts as well if you want to do like sponge painting. Just cut it up. Sponge painting. I don't who remembers doing that. I did that to my first house that I bought back in the 90s. When did I buy my first house? 97 is when I purchased my very first house. Okay, and this other one is the Bio Blender Eco Tools 100% blah, 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 the face. Face one, so I'm assuming it's pretty much just like that, but a smaller version. And I am wrong, kind of, but it has like a little pocket, so I'm assuming you go like this into your face, a little puppet show or something. So, got that. And the last one is the Real Techniques Miracle Mixing Sponge, two in one. So there is the other one. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one open. Because, oh, maybe so. Ooh, that's weird. It smells like, or it feels like skin. Look at that. Very interesting. It looks like a fingerprint. So, hmm, interesting. So yeah, bought that. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you would like to help my channel grow and help me um, go further, then all you have to do is just hit that subscribe button, hit the like and comment, and that really does help me out a lot. So be sure you do that before you head out. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. I hope you all have a wonderful a beautiful safe day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. That's my slipper, not your toy. Stop. <laughs> Just go with my slipper. <laughs> Bone. It's my slipper. Hey, stop. <laughs>